Antrix Corporation Limited is the commercial arm of the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. Topic: History. Its objective is to promote the ISRO's products, services and technologies. It was incorporated as a private limited company owned by the Indian government on 28 September 1992. The company is a public sector undertaking PSU, wholly owned by the Government of India. It is administered by the Department of Space DOSE. It had dealings with EADS Astrium, Intelsat, Avanti Group, World Space, Inmarsat, and other space institutions in Europe, Middle East and Southeast Asia. It was awarded Miniratna status by the government in 2008 and achieved a turnover of 18 billion rupees in 2014-15. Topic achievements Successful launch of W2M satellite for Eutelsat. Successful supply of reliable satellite systems and subsystems. Some of Antrix's better known customers are Hughes, Matra Marconi, World Space etc. Successful commercial satellite launches of Spot 687, France, Pathfinder and Dove, U.S., Texer, Israel, Kitsat, Korea, Tubsat, DLR, Germany, Bird, DLR, Germany, Proba, Verhart, Belgium, aboard the ISRO's Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV. Execution of many IoT, TTC support services to international space agencies. Some of the customers using Antrix services are World Space Panamsat, GE Americom, AFRISTAT etc., LEOP support, IoT, TTC. Successful launch of Texer, Israel. Two satellites, one from France and another from Japan were launched in September 2012. Successful launch of five satellites, including French Spot 7 satellite on 30 June 2014 UK-based satellite launch UK DMC-3 on 10 July 2015. Topic business agreement On 29 January 2014, Antrix Corporation Limited Antrix, the commercial arm of Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, signed launch services agreement with DMC International Imaging DMCII, the wholly owned subsidiary of Surrey Satellite Technology Limited SSTL, United Kingdom UK, for launch of three DMC C3 Earth observation satellites being built by SSTL, onboard ISRO's Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV. On 5 February 2014, Antrix signed another launch services agreement with Saint Electronics Satcom and Sensor Systems Private Limited, Singapore, for launch of Telios-1 Earth observation satellite, onboard PSLV. These launches are planned during end 2014 to end 2015. On 29 September 2014, Canada announced that it has decided to give the contract of the July 2015 launch of its M3M Maritime Monitoring and Messaging Microsatellite Communications Satellite to Antrix during the inauguration of the International Astronautical Congress at Toronto. During the year, eight PSLV launch services agreements were signed for launching 16 international customer satellites as co-passengers. These are with Skybos Imaging Inc., USA, DLR, Germany, Comdev, Canada, University of Toronto, Institute of Aerospace Studies, Canada, Cosmos International Germany, Spaceflight Inc., USA and Algerian Space Agency. With these the company had signed agreements for launching 33 satellites. Topic. Satellite launches 
As of January 2018 ISRO has launched 209 foreign satellites for 23 different countries. All satellites were launched using the ISRO's Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV expendable launch system. Between 2013 and 2015, India launched 28 foreign satellites for 13 different countries earning a total revenue of $101 million. Controversies S-band spectrum scam In January 2005, Antrix Corporation signed an agreement with Devas Multimedia a private company formed by former ISRO employees and venture capitalists from USA for lease of S-band transponders on two ISRO satellites GSAT-6 and GSAT-6A for a price of 14 billion rupees $190 million, a huge amount lower than market price to be paid over a period of 12 years. ISRO committed to spending 7.66 billion rupees $110 million of public money on building, launching and operating two satellites which were leased out for Devas. Devas shares were sold at a premium of rupees $17,000, taking the accumulated share premium to Rs 5.78 billion, rupees $80 million, thus getting a high profit. In July 2008, Devas offloaded 17% of its stake to German company Deutsche Telekom for $75 million, and by 2010 had 17 investors, including former ISRO scientists. In late 2009, some ISRO insiders exposed information about the Devas Antrix deal, and the ensuing investigations resulted in the deal being annulled. G. Madhavan Nair ISRO chairperson when the agreement was signed was barred from holding any post under the Department of Space. Some former scientists were found guilty of acts of commission or acts of omission. Devas and Deutsche Telekom demanded $2 billion and $1 billion, respectively, in damages. Government of India's Department of Revenue and Ministry of Corporate Affairs initiated an inquiry into Deva's shareholding. The CBI concluded investigations into the Antrix Devas scam and registered a case against the accused in the Antrix Devas deal under Section 120B, besides Section 420 of IPC and Section 13 2, read with 13 1 D of PC Act, 1988 on 18 March 2015 against the then Executive Director, Antrix Corporation Limited. Bengaluru, two officials of USA-based company, Bengaluru-based private multimedia company and other unknown officials of Antrix Corporation Limited, ISRO, Department of Space. <laughs> 